All right, good day viewers, Walter here. Just a short week log today, update you a little bit. Many of my viewers will recall this bark. Uh, when I built my sprayer trailer, I used some rough sawn oak. Well, I've been up in the rafters looking and found some more rough sawn oak that I can use on my trailer. I thought I had more than this up there. Here's a nice piece here. Uh, it's just rough sawn at a neighbor's sawmill, a neighbor who has recently passed. When he gave me this, we're going to put it to use. It won't be today because I've been busy. James had to go over to the hospital. I went over there to check on him. He's having some internal problems with gallbladders and kidney problems or whatever it was. And uh, I didn't get much done today, but I'm going to make a short vlog. And let's talk about YouTube for a minute. One of my viewers, or one of a viewer on YouTube, recently notified me that somebody was using one of my videos. I've seen other videos where they were copying or uh, taking advantage of me and reposting it somewhere else. But they actually had it posted in one of my videos posted on their channel is their video. They just took it and mixed it in with some other people's train videos and called it the 10 worst video train, longest trains or something. But they copied my work as theirs. If you want to produce a video for YouTube, do it. But don't do it by copying somebody else's work. So Due to the fact that somebody let me know it was on there on YouTube, I filed a complaint with YouTube, which I've never had to do before. And YouTube sent me a message saying that that content had been removed. I don't know if they removed him or not. I'll have to look and see. But the content itself, they probably challenged him that he was using a copyrighted material. Now, probably all he had to do was just delete it. But if he fights it, he could wind up kicked off of YouTube. I don't know his history. Maybe he's done it before. I'll have to look and see if he's still with YouTube, but I just thought I'd mention that, that I'm not real, I don't mind somebody. Occasionally I'll have viewers ask me if they can use one of my bird videos, for example, in a documentary they're doing for public television. I've had no problem with that. I've okayed them to do it several times. But when you start claiming my work is yours, I got a balk on that. My boards I got out here, this one's going to look lovely, sawed up in three or four foot pieces, whatever I need to put on both sides of that trailer. I'll probably send it down a little bit, but it's going to stay rough, so it's already about 12 inches wide, which is perfect. And this old rough one over here, I can saw some narrow splits out of, some narrow pieces out of, from my boxes on the side to give these shelves kind of a lip, a box on each side where I can lay tools down in there. I'm, we got rain coming, so I can't leave the saw horses outdoors here. I'm gonna stand them up in the garage here. But also in today's vlog, I want my heart goes out to those people in Texas. Uh, I really feel for you. I just wish I could do more to help them I know a lot of people call them for donations, but, um, and I sure hope plenty of people help out, but, uh, it'd be nice if I get my pontoon boat and come right over there and rescue some of you. Hodgepodge Garage has been out there, um, doing some rescuing and boating in his area. Texas Viking, he videoed, he lives more westward in Texas. But he got minnows and fish swimming around in his shop, his garage. So you know the water level is high when the water gets in the house. Some of those houses over there in Texas is underwater. I hope the water goes down soon. I hope everything goes well for you as far as recuperating from your damages to your houses and I wish you all the best. My prayers go out for everybody in Texas and Louisiana. 
I ain't gonna rule out Georgia because it looks like the rain's coming this way now. I'm gonna slide my saw horses up here inside the door. I won't get any sawing done today because we've been off busy. My generator sits in my trailer really good, but I'm gonna put some L-type brackets to overlap the generator to hold it down in that channel I built. That way if I hit a bump or it accidentally turns over and tilts over on a hill or something, it'll stay in the trailer and won't won't fall out. I actually could drill a hole through there and bolt it right through there. One way or the other, we're going to get it secured on there. And then we're going to, when we finally get finished with this trailer, we're going to put a coat of paint on it. Make it look better. Hopefully by next week, we're going to be bopping through the yard out there looking good anyway. Knew that board would come in handy one of these days. All right. That's really going to jazz that trailer up. I could actually extend the shelf back this direction and have the box come right across the back too. Have all kind of storage room on here. I probably need to put me a couple of brackets on here or pipes where I can mount an axe and a sledgehammer too. Might as well rig this thing up right. Look like the goat man coming down the road when we get all this thing bolted on there. I don't know, many of my viewers probably never heard of the goat man. He was an old timer down in South Georgia when I was a kid that pulled a cart up and down the highway, pulled by goats. They called him the goat man. Oftentimes you'd see his wagon trail the ruts of his wagon where they ran on the hot asphalt would actually leave a trail down the asphalt road to South Georgia. He's long gone, Mr. Goat Man, but I remember you. How many of my viewers ever heard of the Goat Man? Sounds like a made up character, but he wasn't. You look on the internet somewhere, you'll find some pictures of him. The goat man has somebody copying his cart of me.